there were some great finals. So I think there, you can see a rivalry there, yeah. Well, we had a great final between the two of them, Steffi Graf and Monica Seles last year. What can we expect uh, this year? Peter Fleming, Steffi Graf, well, she's had her troubles off court, but she certainly seems pretty focused on court. She is. She, she seems to be able to do that at will, really. I, I'm just hope, I'm really excited about the prospect of this final because certainly their match last year was without doubt the greatest women's match and probably on a par with that Sampras Courier match in Australia for just sheer excitement. It was great. And, and uh, if we have anything like that tonight, we'll have a great show. You know, I, I find it really incredible to imagine that Selish and Graf, the numbers one and two in the world, will only play once in the course of a whole year. Uh, it, it's, it's amazing to me just hearing Steffi say that on the, on the interview that uh, it, it was a great rivalry before Selish went out and hopefully it will continue to be one for a while to go. Well, the rivalry continues on Stadium Court at Flushing Meadow in a few moments' time. Monica Selles is jointly ranked as the world number one and she'll be on top form too, no doubt. Let's consult Mystic Meg. Geminis are by nature contradictory characters. Steffi can be clever but restless, happy yet pessimistic. There's nothing predictable about her play either. She surprises her opponents with her extraordinary versatility. She has the typical Gemini physique, tall and slim, showing effortless speed and grace about the court. But her Gemini lack of stamina has meant that injury and family troubles have made it difficult for her to concentrate on her game. Sagittarians are often high flyers and very tenacious. Monica has typically Sagittarian willpower and works resolutely to complete the task in hand, drilling the ball back across the net. Monica, though, also has the Sagittarian trait of being outspoken. Since her comeback, she has mellowed and her sense of humour has come to the fore. She's a much more sociable seller than before. Well, that's a bit of the fun stuff for you. What about the serious stuff, the profiles of these two extraordinary women's players? Steffi Graf, 27 years of age, the number one seed here, and jointly ranked number one in the world with Monica Seles. Well, Peter, we've heard she's a Gemini. There are two sides to Steffi Graf. Which one will we see today, do you think? We will certainly see the hardworking, uh, focused side. Steffi is, that's the one thing she does so well and and as apart from being a fantastic athlete she is focused and when the big matches arrive she is ready so monica Seles, well five years separates the two and quite a few grand slam titles obviously monica Seles made her grand slam comeback at this event last year she got to the final that time graf beat her bill will she win it today well, I don't know. I mean, I really don't know who's going to win this match. I'm not going to put my head on the block here, I don't think. I just hope it's a magnificent match again. And uh, I just have a feeling. I mean, she's full of fun now, Monica Sellers. I hope, uh, I hope for her sake she just manages to uh, keep her mind on the job. And if she hits that ball hard into the court, And I as you can see, they've met each other plenty of times before, only three times on hard court, and that goes Graf's way. So they're out on court. There is Monica Seles. It's Steffi Graf against Monica Seles. The women's final. Almost 30 Grand Slam titles between the two of them. Who will be the champion today? Let's join our commentators for this match. Barbara Potter and good afternoon also to Chris Bailey. Thank you, Jane. Well, uh, it's a major change of weather out at Flushing. It's quite hot and it's about 70% uh, humidity. Sellers won the toss and elected to serve, and it's love 15.
<laughs> and at this sort of point is going to be the quality of the match. It's going to be in for a real crack up. And Sella, she doesn't need to worry about hitting short as Graf probably won't come into net that much, but uh, she's going to have to worry about her own net movement once she's in. Fifteen thirty. <laughs> Well, a surprise serve to the strength, and then a jamming serve to Graf's forehand shows us the left-hander here. Steffi not accustomed to it yet. Forty thirty. Advantage selling. Game Good start for Sellers. She holds the opening game, one love. First game. Who's going to win this match? Well, it, uh, it's a tough one. I'm, I never won for, for sitting on the fence, but from, uh, from the sort of form that these two players have shown here, it, it's going to be very, very tight. If anything, I think you're going to have to plumb with Graf because uh, I think she'll return better. She's going to get more chances on the serve. But it's going to be, well, hopefully, like it was last year, a very, very tight and exciting match. Barbara, what do you think? Well, we are assured of one thing, and that is that both players will give 110% for the entire road. Monica Selish, without a shoulder to give 90 miles plus per hour on her own serve, nonetheless came out serving a little harder today than she did in her semifinal victory over Conchita Martinez. She needs to against Graf. Graf's a better returner than Martinez. And uh, frankly, the left-handedness getting Selish through the first game nicely, that won't be such an advantage as the match wears on. And where I worry is in the fitness category for Selish. I don't feel she has a shot to win in three long sets. We'll see. But who are you going for? Bottom line, I won't vote against Selish in a Grand Slam final except for today. I'm reluctantly going with Graf. Selish is so mentally tough, but Graf fitter. Graf to serve. So Graf to open up her service game in this final. The US Open. Love one. Oh. Team love.
40 long. Well, the shot that worked so very well against Martina Hingis. Graf not taking the net much against Hingis, but pulling Hingis into good effect. Tough game for Steffi. Good solid serving and heavy hitting from her. Good second serving as well. The shot that Selish in years past often attacked. from Steffi, mixing it up well. Love it, What's exciting to me is that Selish is using slices that she hasn't used all tournament, and the mix of spins important in her strategy to win today. Love 30. Needs to think about the top spin loop to the graph backhand. Make the German apply the power. Selish's parents, coached by her father, Caroli. Well, it's Steffi Graf has the early opportunity to take the initiative. Two great points. Here, knowing she's going to get Graf into some defensive trouble and eagerly waiting inside the baseline. <laughs> well, for me, if I'd paid my $40 for the top row seats, I would have felt I'd got my money's worth already in this match. Searing backhand cross-court angle, and the backhand put away. Advantage Graf. Just at the moment, Steffi Graf getting the greater depth was creating more opportunities. Third break point. It's long. Game draw. Graf, for her, would probably get probably gets the ideal start in this match. She breaks for a two-one lead, first set. Graf leads two-one. Well, Monica Sellers getting broken early on in this set. A good start for Graf. There's been a lot going on in this young lady's life. Her Behind father's trial is going Thank on you. at the moment. And uh, supposedly you think that is detracting from her tennis. But I think she's very much at home out here. She can get away from everything. She's on her own out Thank there. And I think she's relishing the opportunity to show what she can do. Also, I think if she wins here, she'll probably think it'll help her father back home. 2-1. Line. 
Unlike last year, the trial obviously well underway, and it can't be a back burner subject in Steffi's mind. Let's see how well she blocks it out this year. Thirty long. Be nice to see Steffi come in. I think she has to do that to beat a Salish at 100%. Advantage cross. Good time to serve your first ace. You've been 40 love up and you've been pulled back to juice. that game Steffi Graf could have very easily slipped away from her but she does what is probably the most vital thing to do when you break the serve is to hold on to your next service game a few too many return errors from Monica in the early parts of return games 15 long. Oh, yes. <laughs> Top spin drop shot winner from Sellers. Yes, it's Graf with the first drop shot and then the angled reply looking quite like a drop shot itself. Nice little buggy whip top spin.
some smash on the baseline from Sellers. First love game, but Graf leads 3 2. Full house here today on Stadium Court. 17,000 people jammed in. And it's some sight, this stadium, when it's full. Thank you. Why, please? So, Steffi Graf with the early break and holding on to it quite comfortably on our own serve. 3-2. It's been serving that one well. Today, Monica not moving as she perhaps once did in the early 90s. And releasing to a couple of one-handed forehands, but still total commitment on that final shot, almost hanging in there with the other hand on the racket long enough to impart power, necessary power. Well, when you hit the short ball to Sellers, Invariably, it goes for a winner or an unreturnable. That's what Graf's got to be careful of. Particularly on Seller's strength, the backhand side. The forehand timing hasn't been as good as pre-Hamburg, Seller's. Emphasis on the serve in this rivalry than perhaps in the early 90s. And about the only safe place to go against Selish's return if you can't hit the lines, straight at the toll. American. Game ground. She leaves in four two. Well, Sellers, as of yet, not making too much impression on the graph serve. Got up 30-15 uh, in that game, but to no avail. Graf going wide and at the body of Selish. Easy to do, but uh, Selish rarely, if ever, making that kind of error. To me, a footwork error. And Graf calling her shots as to which balls to run down as well. Definitely a more aged champion than in years past. Now this is the kind of game style I prayed Selish would acquire in the early 90s. And she's done a very good job with the volleys she's had this fortnight so far. But not today yet. An effort may be Cello serving volleying to, to conserve a bit of energy. Yes, and also to take advantage of the graph backhand return, which can rise quite high over the net in its effort to remain deep. Oh. 
so that even a Selish, who's volleying well, will want to mix the serve and volley. It's clearly out. Because Graf ad adroitly lowering her return to the feet of the incoming volleyer. It's a real chance now for Steffi Graf to go a double break up. Cross-court drawing, Selish wide, nicely. Selish confident, though, that Graf's down the line back end isn't as strong. Tic-tac-toe tennis, one punch. <laughs> Get her in a bit of trouble to get the short reply, and boom. One, two, three, easy. Game two. Well, survived a break point in that game. The draft still has the one break. 4-3, first set. So really, even though Graf for me is, is a break up, still very nip and tuck this first set. Form-wise so far on the half courts in 96, have, both players have only lost once. So uh, pretty dominating. Behind the players. Thank well, they you. really are better than the best of the rest. Quite pleased. And such a shame that they don't play more often together because this is what the people really come to watch. The two best players in the world going head to head. Graf 4-3. Team line. Third ace from Steffi. 